feels like we're in a rainforest. Welcome back, my fellow frothers. Today we are at the original Throw Down the Mountain that Paul Macbeth bought. I believe we're gonna be the first person to ever put this on film. First available. Two off one. Um, at least with the new course, there's some new holes, some new redesigns. We're super excited. We're playing the pro blue layout, the red FPO layout. It's supposed oh, no. to be a lot of fun. Skip. Oh, thank you. That was a blessing. Definitely thought we were going for red. <laughs> Par on the first we're happy with. We're gonna be happy with a lot of pars today. The blue layout, they said even par would be about 10, 15 rated. So we're gonna hope to just stay as close to even as we can. We're not expecting many birdies today. So 730 foot par four, right up the gut. Let's see if we can hit this line. Oh, don't turn. Okay, we kicked back out in the middle. We're, we're fine with that. Not really sure where we're going here. If it's in the sun, I'm happy. Oh, I flipped that over too. Please cut roll, thank you. So we're playing this course for real, playing one shot, penalty strokes, stroke play, everything. But I have no idea where the basket is here. It's gotta be somewhere up on the right, so we're just gonna hope for the best. I think it's right over there. Oh no, it cut the corner a little early. Hopefully we have a putt. I don't wanna get a bogey already. Okay guys, I completely screwed myself. We're down here. I'm just gonna hopefully get a roller within the circle so I can save the bogey. I had no idea the basket was tucked this far back. <laughs> so we kinda screwed ourselves there, but we are able to save the bogue. Okay, we've got a 530 foot par four. It goes straight out and then curves over to the left. It goes way downhill and then we're gonna be coming back uphill. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Very happy with that. <laughs> Good job. This course is known for having the most elevation in Florida, and it's a nice change of pace because Florida is extremely flat, and disc golf has been getting a little boring. Playing the tournament coming up? No. Just traveling through the area. I'm gonna have to do a standstill. Just up the hill is all we need. Get in. Oh, I thought we made that. That would have been huge. Can you imagine if that would have dropped? How disgusting that would have been. Yeah, that would have been nice. These poor people on your channel are just gonna hear me breathing heavy as fuck all day today. What's the cool? Yeah, you're cool. Constipated, overweighted, out of style loser. Remember that? No, I don't. Holy <laughs> That's what you get. That's karma. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Boom. Got the par. I'm very happy with how we played that last hole. Um, but now we've got 663 foot par four, goes down this hill and then to the left. I'm basically just trying to get to the FBO tee pad right here. Stay around that. Perfect. I think we're very happy with that shot. I yet again, do not see the blue basket. So we're gonna throw past the red, ideally. Hopefully we can thread the needle through these trees. I think that should be all right. Just a matter of where the blue basket's at. Okay guys, the blue basket is actually way down there on a whole different fairway I didn't even see. So we're just gonna put to this red basket and move on to the next. So I decided to play the blue layout, the pro layout, so I can really compare myself and just see how far away from pro status I really am. I know I'm nowhere near it, but this way when I watch a tournament here, I actually have an idea of the skill that these players have when they're just bombing these holes that I'm laying up on. So we had a little bit of a cluster on the last one as I was playing through a group and was thrown to the wrong basket. But now we're going straight across this canyon. Red basket's obviously back right there. And then further back to the left's where the blue's at. I'm gonna go DD3 and hopefully just land up on the green at least. Turn. Oh, no! Oh! We hit the top of the bank and it slid halfway down and now it's gonna be an impossible shot. Like, just look at how cool this is. Feels like we're in a rainforest in the jungle. Guys, the elevation here is insane. I'm literally going up a goat track to get up this hill. So where my bag is, is where I was hoping my disc would land, giving us a nice upshot into the next basket. But uh, now I'm way down here and I'm pretty much screwed. We're gonna throw a roller yet again. Did that just hit the basket? Yeah, but it still rolled a little bit further. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> okay guys, well this is, oh, 
<laughs> this is where I wanted my drive to land and now we're taking our third from here so bogey is looking very tasty I'd like to at least save the bogey and not go double my chalk bag go Oh, that was the worst root it could have ever hit. Thought it would just slide right up this nice fresh grass, but no. Putting is coming back. It's feeling better. Hopefully it continues on that trend. Okay, we've got a 790 foot par four down this huge cliff over to the left, going with the P B four time destroyer. We're on his course, we gotta throw it. Oh, I think that's perfect. I think we're really gonna like where that ends up. Fairway just like we wanted, beautiful. It's a beauty out here. This property is incredible. So what do we throw here? I think we turn the cicada over. Is that gonna get there though? I think it will. Hope you're not asking me because I think it's been made very clear I don't know what these discs do. <laughs> okay, we've got 340 feet yet. Red basket straight ahead, over to the right's where the blue's supposed to be. Gonna take the cicada on a turnover. Go in. I don't know where the basket is, but it's gotta be right there. Well, the basket is a lot further and up this hill than I thought, so I might have to start walking up ahead so I can actually see where these baskets are, because throwing blindly is not gonna yield a very good score. I think we ended up in a pretty good spot though, right over here, but. Get in. Oh! That was really close. <laughs> Birdies are so hard to get out here. This is cool, isn't it? <laughs> is this the first one we can actually see the basket? Maybe. 350, that's it. I'm gonna go DD3. We don't want to end up right. The guy in front of me just threw his approach shot and it rolled clear down that hill. I have no idea where it stopped, so I'm trying to avoid being that guy. Oh, these tee pads are slick as fuck. We got a good kick. Just slid right off the end of it. I'm one of the first on the course today and it's very dewy and slick. Oh no. Oh no. I'm just gonna lay up up and over these trees. Ooh, oh, that, that almost really went close. in, didn't it? That was really close. This is just so majestic out here. I don't know what to throw. We've got 486. I see the red basket, the blue basket must be further up the hill, so not very reachable even though we've got elevation. I think it's about even across here. And we're not going to reach it regardless. 486, we're just going to try to get to the bottom of the hill. I'm going to go Thunderbird. Don't give me a huge skip. Oh, it did. Oh, gross. Oh, no. That's what I was afraid of. It was a big skip over to the left. We definitely got it distance-wise, but we're going to have a long ways up to the basket. I literally don't have a shot at all. Yeah, guys, I really screwed the pooch here. I am completely cut off. We're gonna have to just pitch out and take a bogey. That right there is where you wanna land with your drive. Still so short. Oh, I'd like to get at least, at least one birdie today just to say that I did it. God, this course is so hard. Okay, we're gonna take the orc on a hyzer flip line. I really don't know if this is the best option. I'm just trying to get to the base of the hill underneath the basket, but this elevation change makes it very difficult to decide what disc to throw. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. It definitely flipped over a lot more than I was anticipating. That downhill, I think, is what did it, but we got past the front two and the trees in the center. That's all I can ask for. Unfortunately, I cut myself off from a backhand shot. Where's the basket at exactly? Way up at the top. Is it behind this main tree? Kind of, yeah. Oh yeah, I see it, right in the center there. So we're definitely gonna throw a forehand, it's just a matter of what I wanna throw. Cause I gotta get around this cedar here. I think we're gonna go with the deep, not detour, deflector. I wish I had a detour. <sighs> yeah, we put a little bit of flex on that. I was just kinda scared. I really wanted to just make sure I got up a top. Oh, we snuck it in. Woo! Okay, we managed to get out of hole nine, one of the hardest par threes probably, with a par, so I'm happy about that. But now we've got 341 dead straight down this hallway of a fairway. I'm playing this for par. <laughs> We're just kind of trying to stay in the fairway here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh God. 
This might be our blow up hole. We might take a 10. We might be able to at least salvage a bogey from here. Maybe. Maybe if we're lucky. I don't know if I can forehand with this tree. I don't think I can backhand. This is ugly, guys. This is not the place you want to be. Okay. Pretty decent. Yeah, I think we're gonna be a, we're gonna be happy with that. If we can get out of this with a bogey, that's an absolute miracle to save because that could have been way way worse. Okay, we're extremely fortunate to have a putt right here. I would really love to capitalize and save a par. This would be huge for the scorecard. That's not even close. What the hell was that? Try another one. Play or two. There it is. Oh. Nah, dog, that ain't it. That was an abysmal par save, but we did save the bogey, which when I was, th was thinking we were gonna take a 10 off the tee pad, I'm very happy with taking a bogey. Guys, there's not even a fairway here. We have huge trees and a hill right here. 491 feet, red basket straight ahead, and at the red basket, it looks like it cuts hard to the left to get back to the blue. I don't even know what to do here. This looks impossible. Just throw it. This is the most daunting fairway I think we've had today. Okay, so I chickened out from throwing a distance driver and tried to throw something smooth with the, cica the cicada and shanked it. Now we're screwed, just trying to salvage a par, if not a bogey. Of course, of course it would hit a tree. Guys, this hole, I, I already hate it. I hate this hole. Okay, so according to Bailey, it's 50 feet past her up this hill. Oh, we shanked it. I turned it over. Oh, God. This is so ugly. This hole is just the bane of my existence today. Walk of shame. <sighs> the shank wasn't as bad as I thought. We do have a putt. We have a chance here. Let me grab a towel. So we're gonna have to take a knee. It's very wet. Need to save this. This should be a huge par save. <sighs> Hole 12 is a 562 foot par three. According to U-Disc, it's down over to the right. I'm really not sure, so I'm just gonna throw the orc on a turnover and see where it ends up. Looks like a Just butte. like that. Holy cow. That was such a satisfying flight. It's a treacherous journey across this disc golf course. Okay, so we threw from way up there, way up at the top of that hill. Basket is way down here, and our orc is right over here, about 50, 40, 50 short maybe, except we might be cut off behind this tree, unfortunately. We don't have a putt. I was thinking we were gonna get the nastiest birdie of the day here. We still could get the nastiest bird of the day and just make it extra nasty. Nope. We'll take that. That par on 12 felt really good. We played that hole extremely well, but it's going to be very demoralizing when I watch Anthony Barella throw a Luna on that same line and end up circle one. But we've got a 467 foot par four here through the woods. Absolutely no clue where I'm really supposed to throw. I don't see a very defined fairway. So I'm just going to take a forehand down this left side, try to stay kind of in the middle and we'll go from there. Just like that. That's just what I wanted to do, so hopefully we're in a good spot. This is a tight one. Oh, I got greedy. I should not have got greedy. Oh, butter. Thank you. Oh, right into the wall. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, get up. Well, this DD3 went about 120 feet before I threw it into the ground. See if we can get the orc up to pin high, or at least close. And I flipped it over into the shit. Oh, God. I am physically <laughs> exhausted. I'm losing a lot of strokes just by throwing to the wrong baskets. Okay, we've got back-to-back -back par fives here. 934 feet here, dead straight. Oh, just hiking up here is a workout. Well, we had a little bit of a headwind and a lot of elevation change. So I went with the more stable Star Destroyer here and uh, cut ourselves off, really screwed the pooch here. So looks like a forehand roller, yet again, is our only option. Just 
like that. Just Daddy work our knows. way up along the fairway, little by little. Crash in. Perfect. Very close. I'm hot. First you're cold, now you're hot. Well, I'm sweating my nuts off right now. Tap in pars to make it feel a little bit better. 737 foot par four. I can't see the basket. Just a lot of fairway. I'm gonna go with the P. B. Hades. It only feels right here. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. We're OB. Okay, we're throwing three after that OB stroke. Just make a good throw here, please. You guys gotta be kidding me. Guys, don't come here. Don't ever play throw down. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This course is great, but I am exhausted. Don't hit that, please. Guys, this course hates me now. Well, this is already my sixth stroke. I'm just trying to get done with this hole and move on to the next one. Go in. Oh. You've got to be kidding me, tree. I hate you. <sighs> we just took an eight. There's the blow up hole. We got a snowman on the card. Guys, I knew playing the MPO, MPO layout instead of the FPO was going to be tough. I didn't think it was going to be this tough. Oh, it's like five bajillion feet that way up over the hill. 587 par four. It's like a zigzag hole. Look at this. It's like boop, boop, boop. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the hell's going on here. <laughs> Just going to try to get a disc over that hill and hope for the best. You sound very defeated. I'm, I don't think I've, I, I can say for certain I have never been this exhausted on a disc golf course ever. And like I enjoy long distance backpacking and this has completely wiped me out. Changed my mind, we're throwing cicada instead. Something slow and easy to get up there. Don't hit that tree. Just keep gliding. We made it over the hill. Well guys, nobody told me the fairway is only over here. Just getting over the hill is not good enough. I have no idea where my disc is, somewhere down in this horrible, horrible spot. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> super steep and slick. I still don't see it. Oh, it's way down here, dear God. What the hell? I don't even think I can pitch out from here. This is Stupid. I'm literally going to throw right at you, so just watch out. Well, you disc isn't loading to tell me where to throw, so I'm just going to huck it that way. <sighs> Guys, right now it's an absolute mess trying to figure out where you're actually going. I threw the wrong way again. The basket's way over there, past behind Bailey. Don't go too far. Okay guys, our score does not matter. And I'm literally not having fun anymore, so I'm gonna make sure I have fun. I'm putting myself back in the middle here so we can at least throw at the basket for once. There's no point in playing disc golf if you're not having fun. Thank you. I see water though. Oh, it's to the right of that water. So there's water down over to the right, way down there, right here. The basket's apparently to the right of it down this way. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna go with another Heiser Flip turnover with the Orc. There is water down there, so there is a chance that this could get lost, so please do me well. It hit something, but it's still going, I think. I have no idea. It caught that one, that one hanging branch, but it was on the perfect turning line, so hopefully it fought through that. Apparently it's throw down, then throw back up the mountain. Okay guys, well the orc did us right. 522 foot drive there. Even after hitting that branch, it kept on turning over here to the right. Kept us safe, put us exactly where we needed to be. Now we're attacking the basket up on top of that ridge. That's the hard part. Flex out. Perfect. It's like 130 feet, but it probably plays like 250 with how high 
high up you gotta go. Okay guys, we are here. We've made it to the 18th. Beautiful scenic hole. And looky here, look what we got. We have a birdie putt. Only took us 18 holes to get here. Well, I give up. No birdies for me today. Thank you guys for watching as always. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.